ओके ओके गाइस नाउ वी आर रेडी आई विल शो यू वन प्रोजेक्ट एक्चुअली अपलोड नोटबुक ब्राउज you tell me which product should i guide for diabetes prediction or movie award prediction which which movie award analysis or diabetes analysis which project should i guide you first diabetes okay let's go for diabetes okay diabetes i am guiding also i will guide movie award also don't worry i will write down the code in front of you step by step can you do one thing guys let's have one thing can any student email id should i get can you do one thing okay just a second i will guide you okay i am having a wonderful idea naga mahesh can you please send your email id to me so that i am telling you one task what i will do i will send you this project with this file to you people right now naga so what you do naga download this and send in the whatsapp group of the student so sai naga i am sending the all notes to you you do one thing please i am having wonderful idea now so that we can do right now only so see anjani i have forwarded to anjani anjani okay so sai naga what you will do i am forwarding this notes to you okay of python what you will do download this and send in the whatsapp group so see sai naga i have just in front of you forwarding this python so sai naga i have forwarded notes to you of python then data cleaning file also i am forwarding to you sai naga check it forwarding please <coughs> do one thing send the message in whatsapp group or telegram group and data science packages do you have telegram group guys telegram group in this telegram group so i have forwarded to sai naga all those file and also right now the project which i am doing right now movie award prediction and diabetes data that also i am forwarding to sai naga okay so sai what you can do please download all this either send in the whatsapp group or either send in the telegram group so that student will download the things now i am getting the email of many student but sorry i cannot send to everyone let's do the smart process i am sending to one student sai naga sai naga what the sai naga will do it will share it to all the students done sai will you do that okay so sai i have forwarded four mail to you four one mail is regarding today's data movie award prediction and diabetes data one mail i have already forwarded for data science package one for data cleaning and one for python so please forward to all the student okay is this clear everyone i know that he is not the admin j uh, for the whatsapp group so do one thing that sai you do one thing sai let me check that i am admin or not in the whatsapp group let me check that let me check that i am also not the admin guys i am also not admin actually my phone number is in the group uh, i am i am not in the whatsapp group actually my number i am sending please take my number guys i am sending my number please take my number everyone this is my number whatsapp number you people can connect with me in the whatsapp and uh, i can guide you better for future purpose as well so this is my whatsapp group and uh, vamsi is telling send in the telegram group so sai naga what you can do please send in the telegram group all the notes so that the student can receive in the telegram group check it okay so shala go ahead shala go ahead explanation of the project okay great i am explaining the project so i am also not having the telegram group link like guys okay i am not having the telegram group link 
कैन यू पीपल हेल्प मी बिकॉज दिस इज माई व्हाट्सअप नंबर ओके साई नागा प्लीज सेंड अ टेलीग्राम ग्रुप लिंक इन माई व्हाट्सअप नंबर ओके ग्रेट प्लीज चेक दैट सो द गाइज वॉट वी आर डूइंग एक्चुअली वी आर डूइंग द डेटा एनालिसिस प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ डायबिटीज डेटा डेटा एनालिसिस ऑफ डायबिटीज डेटा सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट केयरफुली वॉट आई एम डूइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम इम्पोर्टिंग पांडाज एज पी डी numpy as np matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and seaborn as sns so these are all the necessary library guys these are all the necessary library okay so what we are doing just quick question to all of you tell me guys everyone please tell me panda library is used for what purpose tell me panda library is used for what purpose Data manipulation, very good, Vijaya Jonathan. I really appreciate everyone. Okay, this is used for data manipulation. Wonderful. Manipulation, data manipulation. Okay, for what purpose? NumPy library is used, guys. NumPy is used for what? Mathematical operation on array. okay on array always remember full form is numerical python matplotlib is used for what data visualization and this also data visualization okay so for this purpose all this library is used so what i am doing guys i am in front of you executing this instruction <coughs> so this instruction is getting executed in front of you now instruction get executed now what i am going to do i am reading the diabetes patient data i am going to read the diabetes patient data in front of you diabetes data this so i am copying the path and pasting here okay <coughs> sorry <coughs> oh, sorry guys okay ha so what i am doing with the help of panda library i am reading the diabetes data and giving to data frame called as data set so data set is a data frame now i am executing this now in front of you now what i am going to do in front of you i am writing the code by myself so that you can understand it will stuck in your mind now one thing to you guys one thing to you please concentrate carefully whatever the project you are going to do in future so blindly write down this code when you will read the data set so please blindly write down this code what i am writing right now instead of data set i am writing df okay <coughs> sorry df df is a data frame now please concentrate blindly you people have to write down like this df dot head in every project so this will read the first five row of the data this will read the first five row of the data check it this is the first five of the first five row of the data okay when you people will use the google colab so automatically google colab will give so many suggestion to us we recommended plot if i will click on that so google colab is sending this plot to me check it automatically this plot google colab is sending to me see how advancement ai is going on currently check guys automatically google colab how you work on google colab before please tell me how you work on google colab guys so these are the recommended plot it is showing to me i can select this plot pregnancy so it is selecting the pregnancy plot check it wonderful yes or no again i am clicking on view recommended plot it is showing so many plot and see it is showing the code also it is asking show the code also this is the pregnancy plot i am asking show the code so this is the code check it this is the code automatically ai is writing the code for us you don't need to take tension so then also i am doing something 
extra. Okay. Let do that part. First of all, I'm guiding that part. Okay. Which we have to do. First of all, write down df dot head first five row of the data. So you are reading the first five row of the data. Then write down df dot tail blindly. Write down df dot tail last five row of the data. Last five rows of the data. Okay. After that, write down df dot sample. This will give any one random row from the data first. Before that, write down df dot shape. df dot shape. Any project in the world, write down this. <coughs> df dot shape. What the df dot shape is telling? How many rows and columns are present in the data? How many rows and columns are present in the data? Are you getting? How many rows and columns are present in the data? This is that part. Then df dot sample will read any one of the row out of this total number of row. So df dot sample is doing that. Any one of the row out of this total number of row. If you want to read five random row, write down five inside this. It will read five random row. Five random row in the data, guys. This is that part. So once it is done, df dot sample. Okay. Then I am going for further part. I am writing in front of you df dot columns df dot columns. So it will give total number of columns in my data. Name of those columns. I'll check it. df dot columns. Okay. <laughs> After df dot column, I will write down df dot d type. df dot d types. <coughs> df dot d types. It will give me the data types of call call. Repetition. Okay. So I am writing in the chat window. I am sending the list of code in the chat window. Blindly this code we have to run. Whenever we will read the data set like this. Data set like this. So first of all do df dot head. df dot head. Then do df dot tail. df dot tail. Then do df dot shape. df dot shape. Then do df dot sample. What the shape will do? It will give total number of rows and column in the given data. What the sample will do? Randomly five rows from the given data. What the columns is doing? Total number of columns. What the D type is doing? Giving the data type of the column. Now after that I am running df dot info. It will give the information of data frame. So in our data frame df, there are pregnancy column. There are total nine column. So in the pregnancy column, data type is integer 64. In our data total 768 values are there, 768. Okay, total rows are 768. So pregnancy column is having all 768 value. There is no missing value. <laughs> there is no missing value guys. Okay, I am repeating again. Whenever you are reading any data like this, this is the data we are reading. We are giving the data to data frame df. The moment df is available, blindly write down like this. df dot head run that. You will get first five row. df dot tail run that. You will get last five row. df dot shape execute that. You will get the total number of rows and column. <coughs> df dot sample. You will get five row random row from the data df dot columns you will get the column names df dot d types you will get the data types of the data uh, of those column df dot info <laughs> you will get the information about column data type of the column and total number of entry in that column so pregnancy 768 is the total entry in that column no missing value there so we will get with the help of df dot info. If you will write down df dot mean, you will get the average of all the column. Check it average of all column df dot mean you will get average value of all the column. If you will write down df dot median, you will get median value of all the column. Okay, median value of all the column. Same thing df dot std. You will get standard deviation value of all the column. 
okay if you will write down df dot variance v a r you will get variance of all the column this is that very easy guys python is very easy see in the single single line code <coughs> you are getting everything you are getting everything okay this is called as analysis data analysis of diabetes project now we have imported matplotlib library above if i am writing like this <coughs> plt dot scatter okay and i am giving the two column name d of dot pregnancy in front of you i am writing one column name d of dot pregnancy comma d of dot blood pressure or we can say outcome or we can say age okay <coughs> so it will draw the scatter plot between these two columns check it wonderful very easy this is data visualization this is called as data analysis project for diabetes plt dot scatter df dot pregnancy comma df dot age okay this is that part same thing i can do df dot bar df dot bar and i am writing sorry plt dot bar plt dot bar and i am writing the two column name here okay same thing check it df dot pregnancy df dot age let's check that how it will come so this is the data visualization for diabetes okay check it this is a bar graph check it so the thing is that if you will check that although above it is showing so many plot to us check it so many plot so what i can do pregnancy plot this is ai generated recommendation i can do right click and i can draw this plot okay anything we can do so the moment you will click on glucose you will get the glucose plot and so on so this is the generated by ai check it this is generated by ai this plot pregnancy plot it is a histogram actually <coughs> are you getting so we can take the help of ai generated also and here generate the code with df the moment i am writing here generate the code with df so i am writing df so let's check that what type of code it is generating okay it is not available for us because we we have to upgrade to golab pro then only it will give the code to us so close it don't worry so this process is called as data visualization using diabetes data diabetes data we are doing so many activity here data visualization for diabetes one more instruction is there df dot describe df dot describe with the help of this instruction i will get the descriptive statistics of the data check it all the numerical data is present here okay <coughs> so i am getting descriptive statistics like that in the pregnancy column what is the total count 768 what is the average value mean what is the standard deviation value what is the minimum value what is the maximum value everything i am getting here if i am writing df dot corr i will get correlation analysis of data frame this is the correlation analysis of data frame check it this is that part okay so this is the process guys <coughs> so please tell me are you understanding or not please tell me are you understanding or not Understanding guys. Everyone understanding. So in this way, we people are doing the project. Okay. In this way, we are doing the project. So Sai Naga, can you please tell me one thing? Have you forwarded that data to the student either in telegram group, this data set 
so that I am giving one task to all of you. What is the task? If the only forward right now diabetes data to the student, what the student will do? They will go to Google. Okay. And this code I am pasting in the chat window. <laughs> okay. So please you received the data set. Very good. Then go to Google guys, Google in the Google, write down Google collab, write down Google collab, do parallelly with me so that your confidence will increase. Go to Google collab, open the Google collab. Okay. And open the new notebook like this. Okay. Open the Google collab like this. <coughs> And then start writing this code by your hand. Please do this. And read the diabetes patient data. Let's do parallelly with me. Everyone, please do the parallelly with me. Any kind of doubt, let me know. Shall I paste this code in the chat window? <coughs> or will you do that? Fatima, you are not in Telegram group. <laughs> so join the Telegram group link that Sai Naga has sent. Please join the telegram group. So what is my task to you people? Please open Google collab blank file like this and write down all this code. Import pandas as PDF. I am copy pasting in the chat window. Okay. Guys, please help everyone. I am sending in the chat window the code I have sent in the chat window. How to read the data set also that code I am sending in the chat window. Now, you do one thing, read the diabetes patient data. Diabetes patient data and do all the activity which I have told you. df.head, df.tail, df.this, df.that, please do that. And tell me if any doubt. <coughs> and you people can join me in my LinkedIn also. Please check it guys. You people can join me in my LinkedIn. Okay, this is my LinkedIn profile. You people can join here. You people please take care and let me know what is the doubt. Okay. Please tell me any doubt. Please join me in my LinkedIn also if you want to have the recent update in the LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn. You can join me here as well. Okay. Although my followers are very high in that part, if suppose you cannot able to send me invitation, so you have to click on follow button follow. Okay. So that you will get the regular update from my profile and so on. Now tell me any doubt. Diabetes data has been shared with you people. Sai Naga. Okay, do one thing everyone. Do one thing. Go to Google. Or what I will do? I will, I will share one link with you. Okay, I am having one idea guys. Let me go to my Google Drive. I am having one idea. Okay, let me do that. Please let me know it is possible for you or not. I am going to drive. Okay. I am going to create here one folder. That folder name I am giving as a data one two. I am creating that folder. Data one two. In this folder, I am uploading all this diabetes data file, all these four files I am uploading. All these four files I am uploading. No tension. Let's check that. Okay, done. Then I am going to data one two. I 
I am going to share this. I am changing this. Anyone with this link, anyone with this link, I have copied the link now. I have copied the link and I have sent in the chat window. Now please tell me, will you able to download this or not? Okay, check it. I am sending in the chat window, my Google Drive link. I have sent in the chat window, Google Drive link, guys, check it. It is a good idea now, no tension. I have sent my Google Drive link, click on that. This drive will open, that means this drive will open, download that. Download that. No tension now. Is this clear? Check it. Any doubt, any kind of problem you facing with the Google Drive link, check it. I have sent that Google Drive link now, check it. Once it is available, download all those four files. Then go to Google and please do the data analysis of diabetes data. Data analysis of diabetes data. This is a project. Data analysis of diabetes data, guys. Okay, do that. Tell me any kind of doubt. I am opening the other file also so that you can uh, have a view on that. Practice with me so that what you will do, you will have the entire process in your case guys. Practice with me. Please take a note. I am guiding how to upload the file. Check it. The moment you are running this instruction. So in the Google Colab, how to upload the file? Check it. In the left hand side, there is one option called as file. Check it. File. Click on this option. File. So there is on the left hand side, one button is there. Upload. Click on upload. Click on upload. After clicking on upload, click on diabetes.csv. And open that. So it will get open here. Okay. I'm already having that. It get opened. Go to that data on right hand side. Three dots are there. Copy that. Copy that. Are you getting? Copy this. And then paste it here and run that. So you will get that upload option. Are you getting or not Manoj? Tell me. Is this clear? Upload this. And then run that. And do all that analysis. df.head, df.tail, df.sample and so on. I am writing here all the instructions so that no doubt. Here itself I am writing everything. df.head. df.tail df.sample df.shape df.columns df.dtype df dot info
pf dot mean okay i will share the collab link for a reference this collab link i am sharing for the reference good idea okay i am sending in the chat group i have shared the collab link check it just for a reference not do that see until and unless you will not do with your hand you will not learn anything if you are going to listen me for two days also nothing you have to practice do parallelly with me i am here ha you it is asking request oh my god okay so don't do one thing so do, do this only na i already forwarded that file with you guys in this folder check it at diabetes.ipynb this is that file only which i am teaching you right now this is that file only i already shared in my google drive if you will check that check the google drive all this instruction you have to run guys see it df dot mean then df dot median okay then df dot std df dot var you please that write down that then df dot corr then df dot describe all this instruction you have to write down check it all this instruction oh, please practice this up to this check it in my i am having this screen shared please practice this i am giving you 15 minutes of time now 15 minutes time how to insert the file very easy the moment you will run this all library all this library after that write down this instruction pd dot read underscore csv and how to insert file go to left hand side click on file and on that left hand side click on upload go to the data set where your data set is in your computer click that data set and open that so that data set will appear here click on three dot copy the path and paste the code here <coughs> i am giving you 15 minutes of time run this all instruction this is in my screen now check it
Okay, good, good. Practice, guys. Practice it. I have given this all to practice only. Read the data set and practice all this information which I have given. Yes, I will explain all the feature engineering and feature transformation also. Very easy. Okay, very easy. For example, feature transformation code, I am explaining that. Okay, feature transformation. In our this data set only, I will explain. Is this clear? In this data set only, I will explain the feature transformation. Diabetes data. So check it. Suppose. I want square of pregnancy column square. Of pregnancy column. So what I am going to write down, check it. I am going to create a new column DF square bracket. And I am writing pregnancy 2. Pregnancy 2. And I am doing like this. Okay. DF pregnancy double star 2. Double star 2. So this is feature transformation. What I am doing? I am taking the square of pregnancy column and I am giving that value to new column that is D of pregnancy 2. The moment I will execute this. So after that, if I will check D of dot head, you will find one more new column in the data. At the end, this is feature transformation. So at the end, you will get one more new column. <laughs> that name is pregnancy 2 and that pregnancy 2 is nothing but square of pregnancy column. See, first value of pregnancy column is 6. In the pregnancy, it is 36. Second value, value is 1. 1 square is 1. Third value is 8. 8 square is 64. This process is called as feature transformation. <coughs> okay, this is that part. So execute this instruction, guys. Execute the data visualization. Execute data visualization also. Execute data visualization also. Practice this guys, practice this. Practice this part, okay? Entire code is with you people, entire code is with you people.
एनी डाउट लेट मी नो ओके माय वॉइस इज नॉट ऑडिबल आई एम नॉट स्पीकिंग आई हैव गिवन द टास्क एक्चुअली दिस टास्क यू हैव टू परफॉर्म व्हिच इज डिस्प्ले इन माय स्क्रीन द टास्क यू हैव टू परफॉर्म गाइस प्लीज परफॉर्म द टास्क and also one link this is the internship program you are joining if you people want to join uh in depth python program so please let me know i will teach like a kid like a nursery kid what is python what is numpy what is panda like a kid i can teach you so you can connect with me in my whatsapp i have already share my number with you okay so that you will feel confidence this is the internship program the syllabus which is given i am covering that but if you want to learn python in entire detail like a post mortem if you want to become expert so i am sending my number in the whatsapp group please ping me on the whatsapp group i have just send a message in the what's uh, our this part so there what i will do i will teach you all this part okay this is that part i will teach you entire python from scratch in a very beautiful way this is the python file i am going to teach you each and everything in detail after that i am going to teach you data science packages okay this is the data science packages numpy panda matplotlib seaborn then data cleaning data visualization entire thing in very detail you will become a very good expert in that don't worry i am not the admin of whatsapp group the challenge is that i am uh, kalyani i am not the admin of whatsapp group but i will check that how to share that part okay don't worry i will check that don't take tension okay new group you are talking about okay you people oh you are very smart people i really like smart people congratulations <laughs> good good i will i will uh, share the notes there good 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 wonderful idea guys i have shared the one i have sent one message in the whatsapp group is the same group where i have sent a message in the whatsapp group check it i have just sent a message in the whatsapp group wonderful sure i will send a entire notes here done guys i will share the notes right now only let me stop sharing my screen parallel you please practice i am sharing the notes right now okay let me open that in my web whatsapp web you people please practice i am sharing the notes
Guys, please check. I have shared the notes. Check it. Please let me know received or not. Check in the WhatsApp group. I have sent the notes. Okay, some people are joining lately. Okay. Let them everyone join. Again, I will send. If suppose what you can be, what you people can do. After our session today around 9 p.m. again send the notes in the same WhatsApp group so that everyone will again get it. Okay. Can anyone do it at 9 p.m. send the same notes again in the WhatsApp group. And I will share the uh, miss, uh, job details also with you people every day. Okay. So thank you for adding me in that because the thing is I will share the job details also. Don't worry. Thank you very much. You people are talented. Please guys, give me the feedback. Are you liking the session or not from black box? Please tell me. Everyone liking the session. Very good. So please give the feedback. Feedback link is shared. Okay. Yes, uh, Pujari, I will explain the feature scaling in the next session. Right now, you people, please practice the code, the code which I have given. Please practice it guys. Until and unless you will not practice, you will not get anything. Okay. You have to practice this all. Please practice this guys. I am giving you another 5 minutes. And then we will wind up the session. Okay. So do this. Then next project we will do in the next session. Okay. I will, we will do the next project in next session. I am giving you 5 minutes of time. Uh, do this all activity and let me know.
थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर युअर फीडबैक वॉट वी विल डू वी विल अगेन मीट इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन विद द वंडरफुल प्रोजेक्ट गाइज ओके विद द वंडरफुल प्रोजेक्ट डोंट वरी टिल दैट टाइम कीप लर्निंग एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग आई विल गिव यू सो मेनी प्रोजेक्ट डोंट वरी यू विल एंजॉय अ लॉट Thank you guys thank you very much please fill the feedback form please fill the feedback form guys आणि काय आणि काय ही बात करून मी